everything discussed in this video is alleged. Hello everyone, my name is Michelle and I am an ex Trisha fan. I used to really enjoy her because you know how you have that one YouTuber who you watch who they just have a super like bubbly or positive personality? Trisha was kind of that person for me. During the time that I was watching her on Credemies, like I knew about these controversies and I saw the way she was acting with, on the podcast, like just making bad decisions. Her BPD or any mental disorder cannot explain, like she's doing that to be malicious or for clout. Trisha's relationship with Moses. I've been there since the start. Trisha and Ethan had the podcast Frenemies together and Ethan's sister's name is Ela and Ela's brother is Trisha's husband, Moses. And so weird to say husband. Trisha and Moses just got married and the wedding was really expensive and they had to take out loans and they went to the mall, the mall don't get mad that I don't know how to pronounce this, the Maldives or the Maldives? It can't be the Maldives. <laughs> they went on their honeymoon there and on the plane ride there, Moses didn't sit next to her. I don't know, like the whole situation was super weird and I'm not even gonna confirm anything. Essentially, everyone was saying that Moses sat in either coach or economy and Trisha sat in first class, which was like $19,000. My response to that is like, if I just got married to someone, I would wanna be like physically attached to them. Like I wouldn't want to sit in first class if it meant that I wouldn't get to sit next to my significant other. But the reality of the situation is they're both very different people. Moses is the type of person who doesn't care about that, so like coach, first class, whatever. And Trisha does, and that's something that's so odd about her that's like, she says like, I would spend money even if I didn't have money. I used to spend money on first class even when I was broke. And I was like, how? Like you can't physically spend money without having money. It's so interesting watching her because she is on a different planet than us. <laughs> she never worked like um, a job in the kitchen base or like, you know, minimum wage job. It's so weird because it's like she grew up on the internet. So she doesn't feel weird about like being overtly abusive on the internet to um, her first husband. Husband, they never got married. That didn't happen. I don't think. Jason Nash. That whole situation was super, super unhealthy. You can see these vlogs on the internet where Trisha's not being a good person. Like she's manipulating Jason to stay by like threatening him with violence. They went to this underwater um, hotel, which was really, really, really cool. And the thing is that is that Moses has like this obsession with water. Like he loves water. He paints water, whatever, I don't know. <laughs> so they went to this underwater place because he loves water and Trisha loves expensive things. So this was like another 50,000 a night. I don't know how much it was. I'll put like a little asterisk star because I don't know. To me like, and I'm sure to you, like watching this as the average person is like money, money is money. Like if it's a lot of money, like 30,000, 50,000, it's the same thing. It's a lot of money. But Trisha records everything because I don't know. I think that she would be so much better off if she had put her camera away. One, one day maybe if she puts her camera away for a month and doesn't record anything. I think that she would learn so much and I think that the internet is really stunting her, her growth because she, she sees positive reinforcement in doing bad things. So they were eating their, what is it called when you have like your honeymoon dinner? Underwater and she decided to get buttered pasta and pizza in the Maldives Which is interesting because you would want probably want to get something really cool And you know, what's the chef want to make like this is so interesting new ethnic ethnic food not ethnic But um just variety and stuff the thing I'm kind of alluding to is that They didn't seem very happy during this conversation. I watched this video because I love to watch videos while while I'm doing things, like while I'm playing The Sims or while I'm cleaning, like I have to, or while I'm in the shower, like I have to be listening to something. So obviously like 12 minutes isn't that long. I'm listening to this 12 minute video and Moses actually talks back to her. Like they, they seem like they're mad at each other. Like people in the comments were like, are you, did you guys just have a fight? Because um, you guys are like being super st like stale and um, aggressive towards each other. What did he say to her? She started singing. And this is the part that got me, was that she started singing like all the fishes in the deep blue sea 
see. And it's like, Trisha, you, you record your entire life and you never ask Moses ever about his interest in water. He loves fish and such, so there's all these fish swimming around. And Trisha's talking about herself. You know, that's fine, you know, but it's, it's sad for Moses. So he basically told her to like, can you stop when she was singing? He was like, are you finished? I don't know. It's like, it's so odd that all of their recent conversations together seem to be not happy and I don't know their life. We do, to an extent, know her life on YouTube in which she records a lot, so. The reason I had to step away from supporting Trisha was because, for example, she made a video talking about how she should be able to say the n-word when she's singing and that people should just get over it. Deciding to turn on a camera and say, I feel like a chicken nugget is extremely offensive. People deal with this shit. Transgender. People have to deal with these things that she's malingering or making fun of. Like cancer, she makes fun of. She just makes fun of things that you can't, like she fetishizes religions like Judaism. Um, from the outside person perspective, it seems like Trisha and Moses are not great for each other. People say that she's a pathological liar, a narcissist, but she wants us to believe that this is true, so it doesn't matter that she is lying. She said that she paid a rabbi so that she could convert and he could say that she's Jewish and she is like fa fetishizing, dancing to all of this Jew Jewish music and such on TikTok and it's like she is unable to slow down fast enough to realize that the communities that she's hurting, Jewish people, black people, trans people, they have gone through pain that me and her as white women have never had to go, go through. Trisha will attack or start drama with teenagers on the internet. So yeah, what do you guys think about this situation? Um, I think that Trisha needs to step off the internet because it is like distorting her point of view so deeply. But Trisha, if, okay, Trisha, if you're watching this, I'm being 100% serious, hello. Um, I'm 21 years old, I just want, I swear to God, I just want so badly just to have a nice little two of your house, maybe Airbnb it for free for a night, just to be nice, can I please just see your house and take a bath in that bath that's right next to the ocean, because, like, I, it was so fucking beautiful and it's just so bothersome to me that I don't get to take an ocean bath, um, but then I realized how, um, bitchy that sounded. So anyways, thank you so much for watching and goodbye.